Uh, good morning, everyone. It's almost good afternoon. Uh, my name is In Pong, and, and actually I am Laos, and then I'm working in Laos right now. So uh, thanks a lot for IAD to uh, inviting me to this uh, section. This is very uh, good opportunity to share what I have uh, learned from studying abroad and what I am applying now in Laos. So uh, uh, let me uh, be free about my education background. So uh, actually I uh, study the uh, bachelor degree in the National University of Laos in the Faculty of uh, Economics. My major is the general economics and then I'm working with the uh, research institutes in Laos for three years then to get the scholarship of the project in Laos to study in the Konkan University's uh, faculty. The uh, agricultural economics, yes. And then um, after I finished my um, uh, master degree and then I got a chance to uh, get the scholarship from the Tottori Universities and this scholarship is the MEC scholarship from the Ministry of Education. And this scholarship is also the quota for the Konkan Universities, which is quite unique uh, from the other. So I will share you how to get this scholarship. And then uh, let me uh, tell me about my working experience right now. So uh, after I graduated from the uh, bachelor degree, I working as a research assistant as the National Agriculture and Forestry Research Institute under the Ministry of Agriculture in Laos. So based on this one, I got the scholarship from the project support by the uh, Switzerland government to study in the Konkan University for the uh, master degree. Then from the master, as I mentioned before, I continue to study PhD so, and then I come back to Laos on the year 2016. And then I work at the uh, National Economic Institute for one year and move to the uh, commercial bank. Now I'm working in commercial bank. My research background and my current work, it's quite different field. What, what I want to share you, how can we uh, adopt this one? If you work, if you study in different field and then you work in totally different field. So how we can handle this, I, I will share to you. As I mentioned before, now I work in the uh, first commercial bank in Laos as the um, deputy head of the international relation office under the bank. And then my main uh, job is uh, one is to cooperate with the um, international organization like a uh, uh, IMF or World Bank because every year that we have assessment in the commercial bank so we need to cooperate with them and then I also work with the uh, cross-border payment uh, counterpart like in Thailand uh, we uh, cooperate with uh, several commercial banks to do the cross-border payment and then uh, we also work with the Korea we also work with the uh, ASEAN country so, so that is my uh, main job so uh, how to get the Japanese scholarship? So as I mentioned, when I was a content university student at the master degree, I have a chance to visit Japan, the Tottori University. And then uh, during that time, there is like an exchange program in content university. So I apply that and then I have a chance to visit uh, uh, Tottori University in Japan. And then I have learned that there are uh, from Laos side, uh, actually there are many type of the Japanese scholarship, but mainly there are two scholarship. One is the JDS. Uh, the JDS one actually is of, uh, for the uh, grant aid. And this scholarship is mainly for the government part. So this is, uh, you need to be like government officer. You need to work with the government uh, specific uh, ministry or organization that the Japanese government they would like to provide a scholarship to you. But the most uh, interesting, but the other interesting scholarship is the MEC scholarship from the Ministry of Education, Culture, Sport and Science and Technology. So the uh, short name is MEC scholarship. 
In the mixed scholarship, there are two types of the uh, scholarship as well. One, you need to apply with the, directly with the Japanese embassy in your country, which is they will announce every year. So this is quite open, but the competition is quite high. And another one, you can apply directly to the uh, university in Japan. So in Japan, they are around, uh, if I not correct, if I'm correct, it's like they are around 47 uh, national universities. And then in each university, they will uh, have a chance to get the mixed scholarship based on the professor they can find the student. So in my case, I asked the Konkan University and Totori University, they have MOU. So it's mean that when they get the scholarship in Totori University, they can looking for the student from the uh, Konkan University. So uh, in that year, in the year 2013, uh, I'm very like, lucky that uh, the professor from the Faculty of Agriculture introduced me to the professor in the Totori University. Like before you graduate from master degree, if you if I want to apply the uh, to pursue my um, PhD, you can uh, apply directly to the Totori University. So that's why I, I, I got the good chance that to meet the professor from this university and also to get the uh, mixed scholarship university, uh, mixed scholarship to study in Japan. And then this is my university in Japan. And then uh, overall it's uh, quite, uh, good universities uh, located in the uh, central part. And then uh, this, uh, actually this prefecture, it's uh, close to the Kobe and close to the Osaka. However, it's quite uh, difficult to access. There is no uh, uh, Shinkansen or no uh, express train to there because it's located in the mountainous area. But anyway, this area is very good for agriculture. And then the Totori University is also famous for the uh, agriculture study. So in my university in Japan, there are four uh, faculties. One is the Faculty of Agriculture. Second is the Regional Science, Engineering, and Faculty of Medicines. So my case, I study in the Faculty of Agriculture. And then uh, as you know, maybe uh, some of you have a chance to visit Japan. Japan is quite a good country. There are four seasons in uh, one year. And then in each season, uh, the atmosphere is totally different. So you need to adopt uh, and you need to enjoy. You can enjoy uh, the sightseeing and also the uh, weather in Japan in each season. And then uh, my faculty is, as I mentioned, in the Faculty of Agriculture. We, uh, this is this university is quite have a long history. So uh, and mainly is for the uh, agriculture. Previously, they are the agriculture chorus, and they mainly focus on the arid land study. By the way, in here there is also a uh, uh, a lot of foreigner students who study about the. Uh, social science and also for the international uh, rural development study. So this is also uh, famous for uh, that regions. And also here is also some uh, graduation ceremony in Japan, which is normally organized on March of every year. So uh, what I would like to share to you is uh, what the key advantages we can take from the study abroad. Of course, we can get the uh, academic background and also we can get the knowledge. But for my experience, I think study in Japan, it's mainly uh, you will get the advanced research and analytical skill, especially when you uh, come to work. Uh, you need to know, uh, they will teach you how to handle the problems when you face it and also uh, how to get the uh, logical thinking skill, especially to make your uh, work uh, and on to make your uh, performance in logically and also uh, has a good result. 
And another thing you can get the, from study abroad is about the cross-cultural communication and collaboration. So in Japan, as you know, they are quite unique that most of the people, they rarely to speak English, but they understand their grammar is very good, but they are afraid to speak. Uh, one is the concerns about the mistake when they speak English, they need to uh, speak in correct grammar, but I, we need to adopt to this one. And one thing we learn from Japan is uh, also they uh, teach us about the culture. So in Japan, it's also the multicultural, uh, the culture is very rich. So we, we need to, uh, we can learn from that one. And also uh, we have uh, uh, joy, the uh, many cultural activities. And also for me, myself, what I have learned from uh, study in Japan is to, uh, oh, I, I got a question from here, but maybe we can answer it later. So uh, when uh, we study in Japan, what we have uh, learned another is about the personal development. So uh, one, as I mentioned, like for the uh, cu cultural, the, uh, cultural exposure, uh, we can enhance uh, the, uh, because we're in the university, of course, there are a lot of the uh, foreigner students. So we, we, we can adapt how to uh, uh, meet them and how to uh, stay together, especially in the first year that we need to stay in the same dormitory. And also the language skill. So uh, when you study abroad, you enhance your uh, uh, rankings. At the beginning, when I was a master student in Quanken, my English is not good actually. And what I need to use when they, I, I apply the scholarship is the TOEIC score. So the in Japan, uh, they of course we need to use English, but. Uh, Basically, they want to confirm that your communication is good enough to communicate to commute with your professor to make sure that you understand. So, at that time, I don't have the IL score, I don't have a TOEFL score, but uh, my professor recommend me to take the TOEIC score. So in Konkan, I'm not sure now they still have or not the TOEIC test. Normally, they have every month. So I took the TOEIC test, and then my score is just roughly around 600, uh, the, total, uh, the uh, maximum score is uh, 990. So 600, it's quite a uh, medium. And then uh, we, when we arrive in Japan, we need to improve the language more until we uh, are during our course. So uh, my uh, final score for the TOEIC is around uh, 800. So that's why this is uh, when you study abroad, you improve your language skill uh, the, and you also have a chance to talk in English every day. And another thing is to get from uh, study abroad is about the global perspectives. This is very important when you come back to work in your country. So when you uh, study abroad, you can get uh, the uh, skill on about the communication with uh, in uh, foreigner, and also you get the culture from them, so when you work uh, in the rarity, you 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 can apply that for for the uh, skill. And then, and then the other one I can get from the studying abroad is about the networking. Of course, I I have a lot of um, friends, and I know many professor, and sometimes we are the. Uh, when we come back to Lao, I, I, I am the one who can uh, connect to the other uh, student from the national university and also the other student from the Konkan University to, to get the scholarship as well. So every year there are some uh, student or master or undergraduate student from the faculty of agriculture. They would like to apply the scholarship so I can be the uh, mentor for them. I, I, I also can supervise for them how to prepare uh, to get the scholarship. So this is very uh, good networking. And I also can recommend some professor that I have learned uh, that I have known when I was a student there to them. 
So if you want to study this one, maybe you can meet this professor and re recommend to them. So this is very uh, good uh, network. And for the career uh, opportunity, this is uh, uh, actually my research in PhD is about the uh, uh, rural development. But uh, what I am working now is about the business, totally different. So, uh, however, when you are working, actually, uh, you can uh, adopt it to the new environment. The most important is uh, when you change from the other field to work to work in the other field is about the logical thinking. I think this is very important to enhance your work, and then. In the meantime, even I work in the commercial banks, I am still working for the uh, academic uh, institutes, like I'm the part-time lecturers for the master's student in the public health science, which is the, uh, my majors to teach them is about the research science, uh, social research science, especially the research methodology in the social science perspective. So this is, uh, uh, can enhance your study in PVS uh, to maintain that uh, I am not feel sorry that how to say study one subject and working in the other subject so but I can maintain uh, my uh, research background to uh, the academic uh, society as well and then the last one is what I have learned it's about the skill enhancement especially the uh, research and uh, te uh, technical skill in, in the realities, especially when you study PhD. You need to uh, think quite um, in deep detail. And also you need to have, uh, the most important is you need to have the um, logical thinking and also the uh, uh, how to handle the issue or how to handle the problems when you face it. So this is very uh, important and also the leadership uh, skill and also the project management skill because when you uh, write the th uh, PhD thesis, it's, it's something like you combine the master thesis uh, two or three uh, research topics together. So uh, that's why uh, this is you can uh, get some uh, special skill from the uh, PhD study and then when you work it, uh, when uh, it's very uh, uh, quite uh, easy, when you face the problems, you can handle it. So you need to uh, smoothly uh, create it one by one. And also you need to uh, solve the uh, problems uh, in the good way. Yeah. So uh, that that is my, uh, what I want to share. It's not many, but uh, just want to uh, remind, uh, not uh, remind, just want to share to you that uh, what we can learn from uh, studying in abroad and what we are now uh, uh, working, even it's totally different, but uh, you can do it. And also uh, one point is to remember during, especially those who are studying in Quanken University, try to find that um, the KKU has any MOU with the uh, Japanese university and try to find the information from your professor or from your uh, international relation office. If they have a chance to apply the scholarship, they are not uh, give the right only Thai student. Any, any student who are the KKU student, actually you can apply it and you can get the chance to uh, study. I, I know that uh, to get the make scholarship from the embassy sometimes is quite uh, tough because there are many uh, tests and interview but from when you were uh, when you are in the KKU student actually the uh, the chance is more uh, to get it one is uh, the university they, they 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 know the KKU well and second one is the uh, the professor in KKU they can recommend you to the uh, universities in there so this is a, a good chance when I uh, study in KKU. Yeah, so that that is my uh, story and my uh, uh, idea or my uh, experience to share to you, uh, you today. Yeah, thank you.